everybody. Welcome to Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. We are looking at a saw that I've actually waited quite a while to debut. Uh, just haven't had time. It's another one of the ones that uh, Buddy James sent down from Canada oh, two or three months ago, it seems like now. Uh, here's a saw you're not going to see every day. In fact, when I Google search, I don't find much. Super XL 910. Pretty clean, at least on the starter and the drive case sides. Ironically, the best or most wear is on the fuel tank itself, and the sticker is gone. But somebody was kind enough to scratch in right here what I believe to be the type number 50040 if that's the case and that'll be one we'll be adding to the list on House of Home Light uh, as a, uh, a Terry built saw that's not listed in a lot of the, uh, the Home Light uh, production run man, uh, lists that they put out so anyway it's a unique blend uh, other saws it does have a full wrap handle but note that the remnants of the paint on this bad boy are green I believe this to be original I can't find any reason to to not believe that so it was a red and black saw with a green handle obviously this had been painted black at one time not a whole lot of that left uh, they obviously started using that kind of lightning bolt symbol early because it's here on the Super XL 910. There was a XL 910AO and this is closely related to the XL 902 and Super XL 902. Again, saws I have rarely if ever seen. Uh, there's an XL 902 floating around out there. A uh, gentleman on the Facebook home light group that goes by Mike, uh, he's got a real nice one. I know it came from Canada as well. But uh, anyway, this all checks out. This is an HS56A carburetor. And I verified that in the manual that I've got for a, uh, a 910, that that's what should be there. It's got the small choke rod, got the oiler that runs through. The air box here, I need to get a handle grip down. I'm pretty sure I've got one rat holed away to finish this off. Just had not dug it out yet. But it's got the painted muffler base, chrome cap. That is original, according to the part numbers I'm seeing. Uh, it's got the metal, metal intake manifold here, as opposed to the plastic one. So that helps me identify some of the... I've got a few of those in stock, and other than the XL... I think it was the XL88, the early version of the chop saw. Couldn't figure out what the hell these things fit. Hmm? I see this under here. Hmm? Now I know. So I'm guessing some of the other Canadian models, like the XL701 AM, probably the 902 and some of those others use that metal one as, as well. Uh, other unique parts to this? Not too many. I had to replace the throttle handle uh, when I got it. Well, this is the way James picked it up from the owner. So the uh, back end was destroyed. Uh, I was able to adapt a 925 handle, but I had to drill out the holes for the oil pump here and then the shaft hole for that uh, the manual oil pump, this rod right here. I had to drill those out, put the bushings in and all that. Yeah, a little bit of a pain in the neck, but not terrible. If you didn't know what you were looking for, you wouldn't know that this uh, wasn't original to it. It does have the capacitive discharge, three-piece uh, ignition. That is correct for a 910. There's no mention in the manual of the, the hand guard that the later, like, 925s used out here. So I'm not going not gonna to add one. All in all, it's in pretty decent shape. It's obviously been used. But it's got great compression. I mean, that's 
it's got some pop to it so anyway another one for the collection like I said, I've been waiting a while to debut this one and I'm very happy to have it